Hello YouTube, coming at you with my first ever video um, using the tablet PC, so bear with me. Um, I'm here to help you fix the open tray and unrecognizable disc error. Went through uh, many websites, watched several thousands of videos, and tried everything they suggested. Well, except for get a multimeter, mainly because I didn't have one. Um, but nothing worked. Um, I eventually ordered a new laser, but because of Hurricane Isaac in the Gulf, it was going to take an extended amount of time to get to me. So I was like, well, what the hell? I'll see if uh, someone has a multimeter and uh, I'll get down on this other suggestion. Turns out it worked. Um, so yeah, um, this is pretty much what happens. open tray or it'll read for a little bit and then say unrecognizable disk Ow. there's plenty of uh, videos like everyone says on how to take your Xbox 360 apart um, but a suggestion I have is when you're doing this take this off there's a little flex cable that connects to right here and when I was working on it it broke off so now I can't open it by touching this or turn it on without buying a new one. They cost like seven, eight dollars if you break one on eBay. Okay. Anyways, let's get to it. Um, get your magnet off. Get your game out of there. What it is is this laser is not focusing on the game. It's become thrown off over time, or maybe it got dropped and it got whatever. I mean, if this doesn't work, then you probably need to just buy a new laser. Um, don't work on it when the Xbox is on. I had a little scare. I unplugged the cables back here, and when I was going to put my drive back up here, I bumped one against this metal frame that it sits in. A big spark, and then the, everything went off, and my power block had a, had a red light on it. it. Scared the hell out of me. I unplugged it, waited till the red light went off, plugged it back in, hooked it back up, everything's good. Um, but just out of saving your Xbox, don't try that. Um, okay, so we want to pull the power on it until it goes off. And we're going to unhook, pick it up, unhook these cables in the back. Get our drive up here. Like I said, I'm using a tablet PC, so kind of bear with me. Kind of set it off to the side here. If it falls, I'll fix it. My bad. Alright. So this is what your tray looks like when you're looking at it from the front. What you want to do when you take it out is you want to turn it around and undo this clip right here. Um, yeah, another thing you might want to check out is uh, these bars right here. Sometimes the gaps, if you look at the gaps, they'll be uneven. And uh, the screws to adjust those around here, you want to make sure those gaps are even. Because if the laser is not level, but the disc is, or vice versa, it won't read. So you unhook this cable, flip it over. Where'd my pointer go? Whatever I use. Oh, there it is. Got a clip here. Clip here. There's a little screw right here. I've taken mine out because I had this working, but just to help everyone out who was having the same problem I was having, I turned the dial. I uh, just randomly turned it. So, um, But yeah, there's a clip here, clip here, a little screwdriver, and it's got a piece that sticks up inside, the even with the board there, and it's got a cover piece to hold it secure here with a, another little groove thing, or whatever you call those. But you want to go ahead and unplug this one. This little clip, you just pull it back and pull your cable out. And you want to pop this clip. And you want to apply pressure. Pop this clip until it comes up. And you want to slide it this way and up. And we're going to lay that on the back side. Um, those screws I was telling you about, they're right here. They're so shiny. You see them, they're shiny. There's two of them. You just adjust those until your gap's good. Um, now, 
this particular laser is a 15XX. You can find that right here on this thing. Let me see if I can get it in the camera there. I can't, but it's this is a 15XX uh, G2R2. It says this. It says it right there. Now you can't see it, but I can. But anyways, these two little dials right here are your pot, your pot dials. Um, they're marked. There's a C right here, stands for CD. And there's a D over here for DVD. And the one we're going to want to adjust is the DVD one. If the laser's not picking up your CDs, and you've cleaned the laser, cleaned the disc, got a new disc, and it still didn't work, then you're going to want to adjust your CD one. But for the sake of this video, we're going to be adjusting the DVD one. Now, I've already ordered new lasers. They finally came in. I'm just sitting here. Yeah, I got this one fixed. I'm sitting there playing Battlefield, and then bam, comes in the mail. I'm like, wow, that was fast. Anyways, I took a reading on it, and it's a 15 XB, and the kilo ohms for the brand new laser right out of the package never used this was the CD one this was the DVD one that one works plays games every time so if you have a 15 XB this is what you want to set them to 15 XX which is in mine right here um, this is the settings I have on I had on it where it works um, the websites they said don't go below 3, don't go below 2.5, because the lower the number, the more power your laser puts out. Uh, so they said don't go below those numbers because you'll fry your laser, it won't last as long, or whatever. But anyways, so this is a ballpark range. I didn't know what to do, so I started at 2.5 and worked my way up, and it worked. Um, so yeah, ballpark range. If it doesn't work, just keep messing around with it. But that's the general area where it should work. Anyways, let's get to it. Got a multimeter. You're going to click it to the ohms. One looks kind of like headphones. Not really. Um, I want to see over here it says M ohms. I think that stands for mega ohms. But you want to keep pushing it until it says K ohms, which is kilo ohms. And set it to 20. Um, this clip came with the multimeter. I went ahead and clipped it on there and clipped it to this flathead jeweler screwdriver because this gap in here is kind of small and the points are really tiny and this negative piece on here is kind of wide so I went ahead and did that. Now the, the points you want to touch it to are on this side and the ones to the CD are on the inside of it. So to get a reading, you're going to have to touch the two points. Some of the videos say you touch the one that has one on one side and then one on the other side. I got it to work in by just touching these two. Let's see if I can stay out of the way of the multimeter over there so you can, you can see what the hell I'm doing here. Touch it. Seven point six. Wow, I turned it way off. This is what we want to be at. Four point five. So we're going to turn it. Remember, it's the same concept, righty tighty, lefty loosey. You just turn it like you're going to take it off, but do not take this screw out. If you take this screw out, you are screwed. Haha, <laughs> screwed. Anyways, I clip back on there. I'm going to go ahead and put it back on there. Touch it there. If you're getting a zero reading or you're getting something that's way high, you're not touching it right. 
See, look, I'm not touching it right. Three point five went too far. I'll turn it a little bit back, just a tiny bit. See, that was three point five. You saw how much I turned it. Watch this. Well, three point nine. Some of those videos are like turn it a quarter turn. I was, I tried that without a multimeter, and it's screwed it all up see 4.5 we'll go ahead and check on this one make sure it's still right 3.9 good enough all right well, that's the 15 xx laser we're gonna put this bad boy back in same way you took it out you're gonna slide it onto slide it onto this groove right here and up underneath this clip kind of push it back towards you so you're pushing this clip backwards so you can get it down on that stud right there or whatever it's called and then on your front clip you gonna hold this one forward put your piece back in there you gotta be careful with these ribbon cables because uh, notice they're soldered so well I mean that this one comes with that whole piece this one goes to the motor and then this one is for the laser but I wouldn't want to have to replace them or buy another part. And this one's the most, the one I'm having, always have difficulty with. Because you can't really see, but you got to go up and underneath there and get it in there. So what I do is I kind of make sure the clip's out. Hold this piece with my two fingers. Kind of like make this push it upwards where it kind of points up. it's seated in there and then push it and it's okay if you can see the white that's fine I'll make sure it's seated just a little bit back but not over this board see there's an the edge of the board right there you don't want it to go over the edge of that board because when it opens up it's going to get stuck so about like that that'd be good all right so let's try this puppy out bring you back down here so you can see what I'm doing people are like oh I don't want all these assholes in here like oh we can't see what you're doing so how do we know it's real you guys need to go somewhere else freaking noobs but like they always say haters gotta hate people couldn't be great if haters didn't hate plug the white cord in SATA cable in, that puppy down, got your magnet, got your game, alright, push the power in, Take the controller on, Xbox 360! Oh, sorry about the TV. I had to come in the bedroom. This is the bedroom TV. Kids were being loud out there. There was no way I was going to make a video. So, open the tray. Make sure the game's nice and clean. I like to set the magnet on there. That way I don't have to deal with it. Shut the tray. Still makes that weird sound, but... Play a game. Awesome, yeah? Let's see if it fires up. And there you go. There you have it. I hope you guys get your... Uh, stuff fixed uh, like I said just don't go below 2.5 that's what I was reading on the forums so you don't want to fry your laser and have to buy a new one 
Um, but go ahead and like this video if it helped you out. I hope it did. Um, and I'm about to make another video for uh, changing out the laser because I did buy a new one. And I'm just going to go ahead and use this one as a backup in case my other one goes out. Um, yeah. So if you need help with that, just hit me up. It'll be in the link.